Hi, I'm uh, Kevin Robinson, the uh, product manager for Ramplan. Uh, just been in the company six weeks now, really exciting time for us, and uh, really glad to be here at the show today. Um, tell me a little bit about Ramplan. You guys are a fairly new company. Yeah, we're a very, very new company. Was it? Um, we launched our product in December, which was the Professional, which is a um, PC-based version. And we launched our laptop-based version just uh, in March. So fairly new, um, getting a lot of interest, and I say, exciting times for us. Uh, tell me about iBuildNet. Well, iBuildNet, it's an indoor planning tool. So was it what we're seeing from you know, our customers, which is the, the network equipment manufacturers and the operators, is a lot of the business is moving to indoor. A lot of the business now is from data, and people typically use data when they're in, should we say, a static or fairly static environment, was it, uh, and not so much outdoor. So indoor is where a lot of the investment is going from all the operators to service the customers there. And indoor traditionally has been very, very hit and miss with the planning. And in fact, it was only a few years ago that there was a planning tool for doing indoor uh, testing. So I build net is we were based out of a research uh, group. Uh, it's come in looking at the indoor environment, looking at the absorption rates of different material, be it concrete, be it wood uh, or glass. And what we do is we can maximize the efficiency of designing the indoor network. So we look at anything from Wi-Fi to LTE. LTE was an unlicensed spectrum as well. Um, we're fairly unique that we have with our 3D ray tracing and 3D modeling, was it uh, algorithms? But what is very, very unique about us is we also look at the impact of the outdoor network on the indoor network. Because yeah, what we've looked at is you can't plan an indoor in isolation without having a look at the coverage that's coming in from an outdoor network. Very simply put, if you do that, you can introduce lots of interference and lots of problems on the indoor environment, which costs a lot of money to install. But also, just as importantly, the indoor network that you build could actually interfere with the outdoor network. And then you're going to be ha uh, introducing interference problems, maybe coverage holes. So it's very, very important to look at the holistic. You know, what am I planning? Uh, you know, the indoor and the outdoor uh, side but also we look at the impact of the coverage from floor to floor. Because of course, was it there is going to be some coverage issues there. So on that side, very, very unique. We have uh, an intelligent design module. So we can assign areas in a building where we're going to know we're going to have higher subscribers uh, and different subscriber profiles. We may have an area in an office building, for example, where we know people are going to be using voice and not so much data, or, or in another part, they're more interested in data than the voice. So we can plan the coverage at the best service the customers in that building, be it an office building, be a model as well. So great that we can do that. We can also have a look at the existing uh, network in there. We might be installing a DAS network for the first time in a building that's had Wi-Fi for some years. Now the last thing a building owner wants and the people working in that building is a lot of disruption, ceilings coming down, new uh, trunking going in. So we can actually say in our tool, these are my preferred sites. These are wireless access points that are being used for Wi-Fi. And the, the tool will automatically try to design the network based on those sites. We know we've got trunking there, we know we've got power, and therefore we minimize any disruption to, to those people using the building. So again, another unique feature, saves money and, and saves time to people. And so you're going to have a couple big announcements, uh, partnerships coming up. Tell me a little bit about we, that. We've got some big announcements coming up, uh, as I mentioned before. Nothing I can uh, you know, say at the moment, but we're really, really excited. Some, some global, was it, um, vendors we are discussing with, and we are looking to make those announcements this week. And we're really, really excited. And I think those people that haven't you know, uh, been talking about Ramplan will be talking about us after these announcements.